Today, I wanna to tackle my pet peeve banking systems. First and foremost, we have to look at the two to one bank system, the double the distance. Uh, this is your most common system, everybody's using it. Whatever distance is from here, on this rail, you would half over here or double the other way. So four to two, two to one. Um, let me shoot the four to two, and I'm gonna show you that it doesn't go. I'm gonna shoot with a medium speed. It ran short. Now some of you are gonna say, I shoot the two to one, and actually it's pretty reliable. What you might not realize is you're, sh you're shooting it soft. But let me show you on this table and a lot of tables, something funny happens. I'm gonna show from the overhead, but I'm gonna shoot this soft. It goes in. I just shot medium speed, it didn't go in. Let me be really dramatic on this so we can see how what's really happening here. I'm gonna shoot this extremely soft, the same line, four through two, and you're gonna see it run really long. What is happening? Uh, okay, right, I'm shooting the same line. I'm gonna shoot it hard. Let's see how big of a difference it is. I don't know if you just noticed, I'm shooting the same line. When I shot hard, it almost came up to the first diamond. Medium speed comes here, soft comes about here, really soft. I went into the end rail. What is going on? What happens is when this ball comes in off this rail, if you're shooting soft, Although the original line of aim would be, well, it should be short, it, there's like a masse factor and it starts to just bend away from the pocket. What? People have come to trust the two to one system, but without realizing it's actually bending into the pocket. If you subscribe to a two to one system, that means I should align from three to 1.5 but the problem is this is what actually happens the ball rebounds at the rail groove it never makes it to diamond 1.5 because that's not on the table it actually rebounds closer to 1.6 or even a little more than that now this margin of error gets doubled down here and you end up running short if i continue this uh say up the table let's do another two to one let's say you're shooting from six okay Two to one, divide the distance. That means we shoot through th th the third diamond. Something like that. So you can see that if you aim from the sixth diamond through the third diamond, you actually hit the rail and rebound far further up the table than the third diamond. This margin of error, again, ends up doubled down here. So you're gonna miss it by almost a half a diamond. Now, someone out there realizes it's a bad system and they modified it and they call this two to the one plus a third. So let's go back to our diamond three and 1.5 and they say they realize this runs short and they came up with a system two to one so you get your two to one line and then you add a third so a third is 0.33 uh, so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to 3.33 so they're saying keep that or an original line where you are aiming through 1.5 and go up a third and look it works this is actually going to work uh, as an adjustment system. However, if we go to other points on the table, it breaks down. Let's go to six again. So six goes through three. No, it doesn't. Someone realized this. Let's do our plus a third of a diamond adjustment. We're still too short. It's closer, it's better, but it's not good enough. And let's extend this in the other direction uh, and show how ridiculous it is. Let's go through one, one, well, the halfway point would be five actually one goes through 0.5 but people suggest oh two to one plus a third let's add our third now we're running way into the end rail uh and it doesn't work another adjustment is uh a little bit better it says let's compute the the two to one angle from the rail group so let's go for example to four so what i would do instead of aiming at two i would aim at the rail group right here so i would put my stick down a lot of people put their cue right into the edge of the rail here and they aim that way this is actually a much more intelligent system and let me align this i'm not going to align it two i'm going to align that this dot this point would be at two so now i'm looking here i'm looking here and then what the other idea is you would have to start your aim at the rail groove here so you don't start from four and end through two you start through two on the uh, start through four on the rail groove and two on the rail groove so let me kind of line that up so now i'm going out to the rail groove and then over here to the rail groove and out and look it does line up this is really good the problem is now your brain is doing this mental zigzag z zip out here over here and then zip back to the corner i find this really hard to calculate on the fly i've tried it it actually is decent math um, but it is very hard to do on the fly
hill. The aim with speed system, I think, is better than all this because all the points align from diamond to diamond to the vanishing point. Now, what I mean by vanishing point is I'm going to zoom out a little bit. You can see what I have up here. This is actually the vanishing point you should be aiming at. What I've done is you take the cross corner point and you double the distance to the rail group because the rail group is where you actually change direction. So if you double the distance from here to here, that's where I should be aiming point. So the aim with speed system um, is designed to be a series of memorable bank spots. So for example, from five, my number is, is just to memorize is 2.2. .2. If I go out to 2.2, .2, five through 2.2 .2 lines you right up with the vanishing point. Another point would be, okay, so from about two, you line up through about 0.9. This is just, just where you line up from. Two through point nine is your cross corner bank shot, medium speed.